Hi, my name is Deepak Malhotra, and I'm a professor of negotiation at Harvard Business School. I'm also the co-author with Max Bazerman of Negotiation Genius, and the author of Negotiating the Impossible. I put together a series of videos, each of them is two to three minutes long, and in each video I talk about one key idea, an insight, a tactic, a principle related to negotiation that hopefully will help you as you navigate your own deals and disputes uh, at work, in life, in your career. In this particular clip, what I want to talk about is a problem that salespeople often run into. Now, the principle, the idea is much more broadly relevant, but I'll give you the example of a situation that occurs often in certain companies that I work with. I work with companies and sales teams that are often on the cutting edge of certain technologies. It could be cybersecurity, biotech, uh, enterprise software. And one of the things that's happening when you are a salesperson in these environments is you're offering a product or service or solution that's solving a problem that's existed for a very, very long time. You've just found a way to solve it better, more effectively, more efficiently, more comprehensively, or you're solving more problems that have been, that have been solved previously by your competitors. The problem the salesperson will sometimes run into is that because of this technology being new and innovative and better, it's also often more expensive. And when you show up to the customer and uh, to the buyer, the reaction is often something like, wait a second, this is like five times more expensive than what other people charge. This is like two times or 10 times more expensive than what your competitors are charging. Nobody pays this much for this kind of thing. Or the reaction is, this is like five times more expensive than doing nothing. I can't justify this. In a moment like that, when a potential buyer says something like, this is two times or five times or 10 times more expensive than your competitors, nobody pays this much for this kind of thing. The worst mistake, in my experience, the worst mistake a salesperson can make in that moment is when the salesperson apologizes for their price being too high. Now, I'm not suggesting uh, they say, oh my God, I'm so sorry, please forgive me. They don't apologize in that way, but they seem apologetic. Hey, you know, I understand there's going to be some sticker shock here, or yeah, you know, I understand this is probably not what you're used to paying. And if this is about price, certainly we can discuss that. The moment you move in that direction, you've just handed the other side the license to haggle with you on price. You've just legitimized, you've just agreed that these reference points that they just gave about other prices from certain competitors of yours that are cheaper are an appropriate reference point. You basically said to them that even you don't really believe the price is appropriate or is legitimate. And so haggling on it seems completely acceptable. But if you truly believe that the value you bring to the table justifies your price, what you don't want to be doing is apologizing for your price being what it is. Rather, what you want to be talking about is the value you bring to the table. So a better response when somebody says something like this is five or 10 times more expensive than competitor A, B, or C, nobody pays as much for this kind of thing, a better answer might be to say something like, you know what, I think the question you're asking me is, how is it, despite our product or our solution being two or five times more expensive than some of the people you just mentioned, how is it, despite that, we have a ton of people dying to buy our product? Like what kind of value must we be bringing to the table that allows us to charge this price? And you know what? I'm happy to have that conversation with you. You know why? It's because you and I both know at the end of the day, nobody's going to pay more for something than it's worth. You're not going to pay more for this than it's actually worth. So let's figure out what it's worth. And then you move the conversation towards the value proposition rather than getting hung up and stuck on a price haggle alone. Now, I'm not suggesting never apologize in your life. Far from it. If you do something wrong, you apologize. You own up to it. If you don't bring any value to the table and you're charging a ton of money, I suggest you apologize and lower your price. But if you think the value you bring to the table justifies the price that you are proposing, then instead of apologizing for it, getting defensive, backtracking, or legitimizing the reference points they just gave, Instead, what you want to do is shift the conversation to value rather than the cost or price. And in doing so, you might be able to achieve a deal that creates a lot of value for the other side, but also rewards your side for the value it created. Good luck.